Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the RTX 2060 Super because it's super awesome for mining and obviously gaming too. But this is a mining centric, crypto centric channel. So that's what we're gonna be checking out today. If you are a gamer that has stumbled onto this channel, don't thumbs it down, don't disregard cryptocurrency. It's the next financial revolution. You could run your gaming PC when you're not using it and earn a little bit of passive income. Acquire a little bit of cryptocurrency. Before you write it off, Give it a chance. Look into it some more. Might change your mind, might change your life. A ton of graphics cards have come out this year and more are still coming out right now like the 1660 Super which we're going to touch on here a little bit but you know basically long story short the 2060 Super is one of if not the best GPU for mining right now from a bang for buck usability long-term viability standpoint aside from it just having great performance you can look here you can see the specs and the best part about it is that eight gigabytes of GDDR6 onboard memory okay so what does that mean it means memory heavy algorithms of today and also the future this card can mine it's just kind of like how the three gigabyte cards got phased out and the four gigabyte cards are getting phased out and guess what happens after that it's next is going to be six gigabyte but eight gigabyte has been safe for a long time now and obviously it's going to be safe for the foreseeable future as well. If you've been following the recent news, you saw that the 1660 Super and 1650 Super it got leaked, announced, and their final specs leaked out as well. If we come down here, we're on WCCFTech.com, and I'll have links out to everything I will show you guys in the video description below. You can see right here that we compare the 1660 Ti to the 1660 Super. Basically, we're going to have about the same performance for a cheaper price point. I think the 1660 Ti is still going to perform better just based off the additional CUDA cores. However, is it going to be performing $50 better? Ah, probably not. It's probably not going to be performing $50 better. And also, as far as, you know, looking long-term resale factor, the 1660 Super being in line with the whole Super lineup they have going on right now, it's probably going to be a little bit more sought after than the 1660 Ti. The big killer when comparing the 2060 Super, not the 2060, with the 1660 Super is going to be that 6 gigabyte GDR, GDDR6. Okay, guys, that's going to be the big different determining factor there. Taking the CUDA cores of about 2200 in comparison with the 1660, uh, all of these, but you know, we'll just keep focusing on the 1660 Super of 1400, okay? That's a pretty big jump. While it may not be double the cores and it is more than double the price, you look at it from efficiency point of view, you know, is it worth it? Do you want to pay 400 and sixty dollars for two 1660s which would bring you 2800 cores would you rather pay 400 bucks and get 2200 cuda cores personally before seeing the numbers because nothing's true until it's fact and we see the actual performance of these cards but if they perform how we expect them to i'd rather go with the rtx 2060 super so we know the 2060 super is still for sale at the brand new price right yeah obviously but are there any deals on the models that aren't the founders edition which is basically straight from nvidia edition uh the answer is no they get more expensive when you start looking at non-founders edition or they are the same price and i think the founder's edition looks way cooler than that guy what about the used secondhand market honestly not too many of them selling if you can find one, you're probably going to save, you know, maybe 50 bucks. Nothing too crazy to write home about, but money saved when building a mining rig is basically money earned. Okay, so if, you know, we're talking about break even or, you know, the misnomer of ROI, return on investment, you know, that's going to get you that much closer. But what's the mining performance anyway? If GPU mining doesn't really seem your style, then you may want to reach out to today's video sponsor, Scott Offord, who is a bulk broker of ASIC miners, application specific integrated circuit miners, basically things like amp miners. These are purpose built machines just for mining as opposed to a graphics card, which is great for mining and also great for gaming and other things. But a graphics card will never beat an ASIC miner if they are on the same mining algorithm. He also created crypto mining tools, which is the, I'm not, I'm not just like saying this because he's sponsored. This is without a doubt the coolest Bitcoin mining profit calculator out there. And you click over here, you go to the calculator, 
tons of details to get a very detailed output so check it out all right guys keep in mind this is a condensed shorter quicker mining gpu review just kind of like the last 2070 video nothing crazy here pretty sad mining profitability market right now so it really doesn't make too much sense to buy too like new gear unless you're rolling old gear and new gear but you know even then i probably rather would just run my old gear if, if it was still profitable for you so with all that in mind i just got some basic numbers here we got eth hash aka ethereum we got z hash aka bitcoin gold and then we have uh, aeon which is aeon Kakaroo 29, which is going to be beam or uh, grin. We have beam, which is going to be technically the beam 2 mining algorithm because they forked and updated. MTP, Merkle Tree Proofs, aka Z coin. If you wanted to know how the RTX 2060 Super performs on CKB Nervos on their Eagle Song mining algorithm, it gets about 540 mega hash a second and 27 mega hash a second on Ethereum, with the, which is the ETH hash mining algorithm when you're dual mining them. So you're mining both of those coins at the same time if you strictly solo mine nervo ckb instead of dual mining nervos and ethereum hashing away on ckb this card is getting 812 mega hash a second on this algorithm click over here you can see my overclock settings i'm just at 80 percent power limit plus 100 core plus 500 memory and these will give you a general idea of what we're dealing with so we come down here we look at the profitability mtp aka z coin is the most profitable on a day-to-day -day point of view that's gonna be about 27 cents a day after your electric cost if you pay 12 cents per kilowatt hour in the u.s kind of standard electric rate it's what i have so it's what i use in these uh, videos if everything stayed the same which it never does by the way which it never does you would make your money back on this card you'd be breaking even in about four years <laughs> oh man wow it's kind of different than the days when you'd break even in like a couple weeks now we got if you're lucky, a couple years. Oh man, yeah, so a couple of these figures are a little rounded. I didn't go too crazy, too in depth. I didn't make a spreadsheet for you guys. You know, if, if you're looking to buy a graphics card that is for gaming and mining, I think the 2060 Super is the go-to card. I mean, honestly, I think the Founders Edition of these cards look really cool. Uh, definitely cooler than the last uh, founder edition style that they had this is a graphics card that's versatile it's here to stay okay we have rtx we have ray tracing so we got oh you know we got rtx on we got rtx off as far as you know gaming goes i'd love to see an rtx mining algorithm i've said it before i'll say it again i hope some genius out there which is and sadly unfortunately not me <laughs> maybe tails is able to create something like that for us I don't know. All in all, we have a freaking awesome graphics card that unfortunately is just here and maybe not the right market. It hasn't become alt season yet. Altcoins are not doing the best. And naturally, mining revenue has not been the most profitable thing either. So again, a beautiful graphics card, a awesome graphics card. But as far as GPU mining goes right now, it doesn't really make sense to buy. Say Bitcoin goes 20K and everything else follows and you're watching this video, well, uh, then this is definitely probably going to be the card to buy. But then again, the graphics card market has been heating up. We're probably going to see some really cool GPU releases over the next year. So I don't know, guys. As always, I'm just giving you the best info and you know review I can with the information I've got here. So as always, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel, smash the thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see all you guys next time. Behold.